Outside the airport in Addis Ababa, the significance of this moment is impossible to ignore. <laughs> Kasai Hailu and most of these families have lived in limbo for months. I lived here apart from my husband and child who I love. I came here for my daughter's examination and suddenly got stuck. When I heard about the news of the flight, I fell to the ground and cried. Some left to see family, others for the birth of a grandchild. They planned to return to Tigray in a week or two. But in November 2020, war broke out. Communications and flights were suddenly impossible. I'm extremely excited that I'm going to see my sister and my dad. I don't even know what to say. Fighting began after the federal government accused the Tigray People's Liberation Front of attacking an army base outside Mekele. The two-year conflict has killed thousands of people and displaced millions. A peace agreement was signed in November. It includes the restoration of services to Tigray and the resumption of flights is the latest in that process. Travel agents say the first flight was fully booked within hours of the announcement. It comes after a high-level government delegation visited rebel-held areas on Monday. They were there to work on implementing the African Union brokered peace deal. Under the deal, the TPLF fighters must disarm and allow security forces to take control. Eritrean forces will leave the region. What we have seen so far is uh, essentially an improvement in relations between the government in Tigray and the Ethiopian federal government. Uh, but broader issues, uh, particularly the relationship between Amhara and Tigrayan, uh, remain unaddressed. And, and so far, the negotiation has been uh, going through the federal government, but it might be necessary that the Amhara and Tigray governments directly engage each other to address that. But on the runway in Mekele, the politics and broader conflict are at least temporarily forgotten. <laughs> Families are reunited. No one expected to be gone this long, and the shock won't be easily forgotten. Months of work remains to ensure the region doesn't slide back into conflict. But at least now, they're finally home. Alexandra Byers, Al Jazeera.